I always remember um, the first tour, which was the Easy E tour, NWA, straight out of Compton. It was their first time going on tour. It was my first time going on tour. I'm pretty sure you take the newest, hottest groups right now and you send them out on the road for the first time and all the kids go sell out the arenas and they're just like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm fucking seeing Drake for the first time ever or something, you know? It was that kind of vibe where they couldn't believe that Too Short and NWA was really in their city on stage. And it was just, to get that reaction from the crowd is like, I would have to probably say it's probably like fucking for the first time or, you know, I never did it, but it's probably like the first shot of heroin or something. It's, it's like, it's like a high that you get addicted to. And I've been, I've been high on that shit ever since. We, we were just young and fucking wild as you fucking could be. It was every night, every night was that. I was on tour with Easy e Part of his show, was telling the crowd what hotel we stayed at. He told 15,000, 20,000 people every night where we stayed at. That alone could give you the ideas of what the fuck happened in all these cities. We were uh, up for the task, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. My favorite thing about international travel is uh, you're doing a show, you're looking in the crowd and people are actually like singing the songs and they know the words and, they, and then you might meet that person after the show and they don't even speak English. <laughs> he like, you know every fucking word of the song but you don't speak English, it's just a trip. When I, I was, uh, I wasn't in Tokyo, I was in Japan. I can't remember what city it was, but it wasn't Tokyo. The party leaving the club, leaving the whatever the show was. And this guy walked up to us rapping in Japanese. If I remember right, he had like some kind of hairdo, like might've been like an afro or some braids or something, something that was like, he looked like a rapper and he's just flowing. And he gets to the end of his rap and he just goes, bitch. <laughs> and I just, I just kind of fucked us all up that <laughs> he was going to end it with the too short bitch. But rap, hip hop, man, it's all over the world, man. People rapping in every language. Motherfuckers is just, just loving that shit. You gotta, you know, you gotta love rap music. These motherfuckers just looking at me, going all over there, like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? And I'm way in the back, on the floor, bust my ass and everything and shit. Got back there and threw a bleh. The driver went and got in one of the bunks. He ain't even stay there and hold it. He he ran to the back. He like, yo, I like it, but it sounds like you talking about something else. It's like, talk about the shit we've been through, everything that we shared. So I'm like, oh, you want one of those rhymes? And we pitched a TV show with Kanye West called Alligator Boots. And the comedy channel was interested, and they put up a million dollars for us to do a pilot. 